stories, our community. This is Local 5 News with Chris Schuler and meteorologist Brian Morse. And good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for joining us for Local 5 News at 4 today. I'm Chris Schuler. We are in Green Bay where businesses damaged in one violent protest are recovering more than a week later. Now, the Marathon gas station on Walnut and Monroe sustained damage during the overnight hours of Sunday, May 31st. Other businesses has windows broken as the clash expanded into downtown Green Bay. Now, several days later, these businesses are putting the night behind them. Local 5's Eric Richard shows us how the owners are moving forward. It has been a little over a week since protests, riots and looting took place in downtown Green Bay. As the area and businesses get back to normal, there is a reflection of the events. What started out as peaceful protests and demonstrations turned violent and unlawful as some in the crowd decided to make a run at several businesses looting and causing property damage. The windows are still boarded up at furs and clothing of distinction, which after night one was strictly precautionary. The reason we boarded up one window was because it was broken in, in you know, the act of vandalism a week ago. Um, however, we did have the other three that were untouched. And just as a precaution, we thought, you know, Boarding up a window is a lot less expensive than replacing anything that might be broken. So we decided we would just board them up as a precaution and those boards are ready to be coming down shortly. So we're feeling like things are good now. Now I did talk to the owner of the Marathon gas station at Walnut and Monroe. He did not want to go on camera, but he said that he was very appreciative of everyone who came out to help clean up after the fact, after that looting and the protesting and the rioting that occurred at his location last week. He says, however, he is very respectful of everyone's right to protest as long as they do so in a respectable and safe manner. In downtown Green Bay, Eric Richards, Local 5 News.